Hey Scorpio, welcome to the Trap House. It's your girl Brandy here with your October 2019 monthly reading. I am here to give you a general tarot spread. We are going to talk to God, the spirit guides, the ancestors, the relatives who loved us, who passed before us, the angels, the universe, and the creator of all things. Okay. <clears throat> I always ask for positive, clear, kind, but above all, honest messages. I'm going to pull at least nine cards. I use three different decks because I believe that if spirit wants to shout at us, they do so by repeating the same energy in multiple decks. Okay. So I did pre-shuffle before I started recording. I'm just giving the cards a little shuffle so you know that it's real. I just got a brand new set of tarot cards and I actually sell these on my website. This is Alice Smeets Ghetto Tarot. It is a beautiful deck filled with um, Haitian models. I just think it's super beautiful. And this is Trap House Tarot and the cards are called the Ghetto Tarot. So I just thought that was a perfect fit. I don't want you guys to think that I'm promoting the ratchetness, trap house, slang, um, drug dealing. That's not what this is about. What this is about is empowerment, entrepreneurial empowerment, spiritual empowerment, personal empowerment, development, um, growth, uh, cultural development, cultural empowerment. That is why I am here. I want to show our little girls that this is not a culture culturally segregated thing that we can do this not just our little girls but our little boys as well that we can do anything that we put our minds to so yes thank you so much for joining me please like share and subscribe to my channel um if you're interested in a in booking a personal reading please reach out to me i hope y'all ain't just see my hair because i did not finish what um putting my ponytail in yet <laughs> i just washed it and i'm like let me get this video you guys must be calling me to this table right now but if this message resonates with you please reach out to me either on facebook you can find me at trap house tarot on facebook and instagram and um, you can book your, you can send me a private message and we can go ahead and schedule your private reading. I like to send video recorded YouTube links. So um, especially if you're not local, but if you are in the 412 area, you can always contact me. We can do a private party with up to eight people for $250, or you can book a private session where we just meet up in person and you can have your one-on-one -on -one tarot reading. These readings are timeless, even though I do say they are for the month of October. That is just a placeholder until we meet again. Okay, I will dive right in. Thank you, Spirit. Can we please have... Scorpio's message for the month of October 2019. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the tower. This is your Scorpio energy coming in your love life right away. You have the King of Swords, the King of Machetes, as it's called here, and then you have the Ace of Cups. So that is beautiful. And then you have the Temperance energy, the Chariot, and the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. What is this? The five. Okay. We'll move on to the next spread. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you got your tower energy coming right out. So you could be experiencing an all of a sudden change in your um, love or romantic section of your life. Uh, maybe, maybe there's a breakup or maybe there's just a really big event that's happening in your in your romance section. Like you guys could have had an argument, a fight, but you also could have um, just changed residences or something like that. But there's definitely some major tower moments coming in. And um, we'll look more into that right now. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Wands. Yeah, I knew that was coming for that. Because it, it the, um, the 
tower moment, I was going to say before I pulled the three of fire that it is often though, like, you know, when the tower comes crumbling down and all the dust settles and then you're able to rebuild or find something new and the action that you need to take following the tower moment is that you are, the tower moment is causing you to walk into your abundance. It says abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. So the fact that this is maybe over, if this was a relationship that you were in, um, you could also just be dealing with someone who is a Scorpio energy, who is giving off this tower moment energy. And um, so the fact that this is this tower moment, this unexpected life event is happening, these life experiences are creating you... Um, it's giving you the energy of becoming more abundant, you know. So the tower moment, it doesn't have to, you know, even though it looks very scary, like, well, they're falling out of a building. But they could, there could be a, a trampoline underneath them waiting to bounce them right back. You don't know what's at the, at the bottom of it, but um, you don't expect them to be severely hurt by it. And even if they are, you know, all wounds heal in time. So with that being said, that if you are experiencing some type of time moment right now, then your abundance is like, you know, you may be uh, afraid to free fall. But taking that leap of faith and, um, you know, allowing this tower moment to happen is going to be the ultimate thing that leads you to making long term plans and your abundance. OK, so be patient with yourself as it might seem that everything is falling apart right now. Everything happens for a reason. You have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. This is lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams and nurture yourself and others. So there's there are babies being born. Um, I see that here again with the Ace of Cups in your family section that there's a lot of love and abundance when it comes to your family. There's a baby being born. Um, a baby being born is the birth of something new. It doesn't have to be an actual baby, but someone could be having a baby or celebrating some um, baby showers, birth announcements. Um, this is you though. You are being the Empress right now. Someone views you as the Empress. Someone knows you will be a good mom, a good provider, a good protector, a good wife. Um, you are able to nurture yourself and others. And then you have the Page of Cups because a new person may be entering your life. And that might be what this tower moment is about. So when this tower moment happens and you break up with old dude, then someone's waiting. I'm like, dang, I've been waiting for you to break up with him. What are you doing? <laughs> It says a new person answers your life, a relationship begins a new phase, and heightened psychic abilities. So like I said... <clears throat> Because I do see two people in this position, this is two people falling in or out of a situation together. So <clears throat> this could be where, you know, the both of you may have decided that you want to go your separate ways. Or it could be a situation where it's like, come on, baby, fuck this. Let's just let it burn down and let's jump and we'll be okay. We're going to land on our feet. It could be a situation like that. <clears throat> And that could be the new phase of the relationship that you guys are answering into. With this Eight of Pentacles, when it comes to work, you guys are very much thinking about going back to school. Um, your skilled work is being rewarded and you're learning all there is to know about a topic. So this could be not only when it when I say the Eight of Pentacles, I do relate it to money. But I also say when it comes to yourself and how you deal with others, that Eight of Pentacles is you willing to put in the dedicated effort to, um, you know, not make the same mistakes that you made in your past relationships so with the king of machetes here this is honesty so someone at your workplace and i could even say that this is you you are the king of machetes you're doing honest hard work you're making an honest living for yourself and you're not taking any strife or bs from anybody and with the moon card here the action that you need to take is important psychic insights events behind the scenes and release the fears that are holding you back so meditate and figure out you know why is why is your darker side of yourself telling you that you can't do this? What is it that makes you doubt yourself? You know, once you find that, you write it down and then you release it, okay? 
with your family, you have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is the greatest love of all. So I think you are feeling that at this time coming from your family section. And your family can be your spouse, your kids, your husband, um, your aunt, your cousin, your uncle, your mother, brother, sister. However you view your family, that is um, definitely how it will resonate with you. Um, your family may be telling you to take a break from work, accept help from others. Life is out of balance and you may be getting into some stress-related health concerns. You know, make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Don't let the fact that, you know, you're going through this breakup and maybe um, doubting yourself at work. Don't let that become too much of a burden to where you forget to enjoy the now. <clears throat> Don't become so worried about your future that you forget to be present in the moment. And the fact that you had the ten of fire, it's almost like this is as much work as you can bear. Okay. Now, when you sit down with yourself and you start to break away some of those um, tasks, delegate some of your responsibilities to your friends and family. Once you start to do that, then right after the 10 of fire and the wand spread comes the ace of fire. So you start back over and it's a new beginning for you. You're trying something different. You have the temperance energy here. And as I read about you having too much work, this is you finding balance. You have one foot on the land, one foot in the water. You know, you're balancing, you're filling this cup from that one. You're making it happen, Captain. You're moving forward. You have the chariot energy here. You could be dealing with the cancer as I do see a lot of Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here. Um, I have the chariot. The chariot indicates you moving forward and this queen of cups is someone who's falling in love so i definitely see that there is a new beginning coming for you once you let go of some of your burdens and your tasks okay we'll pull the last three cards i did get a sneak peek at the um empress energy in this deck and also the temperance energy as well so that's repeat energy that's definitely something that's where i want you to know those are both major arcanas the temperance energy is sagittarius energy the empress is taurus and um, libra energy and that is just really indicative of someone who is coming into balance taking good care of themselves um, being a, a, a provider, caretaker, a hard worker. Someone who's very beautiful and balanced. Okay, Spirit, what messages do we have for Scorpio as their strengths? You got the Knight of Cups. Someone's definitely wanting to come in and give you an offer. So you have the King and the Ace of Swords. So meditating and tapping into your intuition is going to bring you some clarity. And that is the strength that you have in your career sector that you are mentally strong as a Scorpio. So with that energy, um, you are able to, you know, soul search and find the answers as to what are these fears that are holding me back and how do I release them? You're going to get that clarity here with the Ace of Swords and with the Son of Cups. It's saying that someone in your love life, again, is, is someone wants to come in and give you a cup. So I'm going to um, read the Son of Cups from this wild unknown terrible. <clears throat> So the set of cups is artistic and introspective. Like all of the cups family, the son truly excels within the arts. He's usually a musician or a visual, a visual artist of some kind, and he finds success within his field. His natural tendency to look inward adds to his charm and mystique. To others, he may seem secretive and even peaceful, while deep inside, he carries a dark kernel of intensity. This strength here, and this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy as well. And this is um, saying that the strength here is that, you know, you are able to use your creative abilities to maybe open up and accept an offer and to realize that, um, you know, whatever happened in the past was just the past. Okay. And I want to read to you a little bit more about the Son of Cups. The Son of Cups is the Knight. The Knight of Cups if representing a young woman as a young man would be romantic and idealistic. 
the energy this knight symbolizes is always felt as on an emotional level. So someone wants to give you an, an emotional offer. He represents offers being brought to you that will be accompanied by a high level of excitement. Due to the element that he represents, the Knight of Cups is the one to look for in relation to romantic invitations or proposals for marriage. For those in the arts, he often brings interesting work developments or offers, card associations, the time in which. So I know that this is a romantic offer coming in. And like I said, that this is just the energy of someone who has gone through hell with somebody and even just with relationships in general you are tired of crashing and burning when it comes to relationships you're ready for the lavish abundance you are ready to walk you know um this is when i see the three wands here this to me represents man woman and spirit your spirits are united here and you're walking into an abundant time things looking um good and and this is what you should expect this is the action that you need to take so expect this walking into your next relationship. Not when I say expect it, know that this is what you want. You want the lavish abundance. You want things to be very good. You want someone who's patient because you're being patient and you want long-term plans. You're tired of boyfriends. You're ready for a husband. And that is what I see here. Someone coming in who shares the same emotional level as you. It could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. It could be a fire sign. I do see, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here. I do see a lot of air sign energy here. So you could be dealing with anyone. Um, the only sign I really don't see in your spread is the pentacles. So that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you could very well, and you don't have it in the reading, but you have it at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But deep in your reading, I see a lot of fire sign energy and a lot of um, air and water. Yeah, I see Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, Scorpio, this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. This is strong Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. And then you have fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so here in your work section, like I said, this is you. You know, you are an honest, hard worker. You're not trying to take from anybody. You're not trying to betray anybody. You know who you are. And the honesty that you see you may not be seeing that in everyone around you and it's making you doubt or question you know is this the right move that I'm, that I'm making and with that being said the action that you need to take here is to develop your psychic abilities even more and listen to your intuition and gain clarity and once you that that's your strength so you need to do it and the strength here is that you know how to do it you know how to go in and build your mental strength back up and that's what it's time to do. So you have the Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Cups is love abounds. This is the greatest love of all. And I think you're feeling that in your family life. You could have a very supportive team of people who are backing you. But at this time, they might be telling you that you're working too hard. You're stressing yourself. And you need to make sure that you're taking care of your health. And with this Knight of Wands, you know... The strength energy here is saying that this is some fast moving energy. Things always pick right back up for you no matter what. You know, you could be have a bad week and then all of a sudden you get your mental together and then you're right back at it with the Knight of Wands. I'm actually going to read that one to you from the book as well. So, you know, mm, I'm just getting over a little sinus infection if you hear me sniffling and all that junk over here. Okay, and I do want to let you know that if you hear any music playing during the reading, that I do not own the copyrights, okay? I just like to let the music play because I believe that Spirit Channel's messages through the music. Um, the Son of Wands is charming and adventurous. The Son of Wands is a true charmer. He's handsome and adventurous and seems to say all the right things. Some call him the White Knight of the Tarot. At some point, you may find he becomes hard to know. Trust your instincts with this one perfection is an illusion. So, yeah, the strength is that you know that nobody can be perfect, but you move fast enough that you can pick up the pieces and make it appear that way. You know how to make it glitter on the outside, and that is a beautiful blessing as a Scorpio, as a person, period. You have the world card. So, you may be traveling. You may be... Um, completing something. You may have just come back from a vacation or you could be going on a vacation or both. And you also are 
just interested in what the world has to offer you. You want to go out and experience new things after this completion. You've just had a big tower moment. So you definitely might be spreading your wings and seeing what else is out there in the world for you. And you have the page of pentacles. This again is someone who is successful at self-employment and who is studying and who likes to be behind the scenes, but is very capable of holding their own if they need to. And this nine of pentacles here is letting me know that you could be single for a while. There may be some pretty nice perspectives and if you're not married then you are single and if you are married and you have this car coming up in your reading this could be you becoming an individual in your relationship because sometimes we get into these relationships when we lose ourselves so with the nine of pentacles you're learning to enjoy all of life's little luxuries again <clears throat> You're beautiful. Your hard work is being rewarded. This is the eight of pentacles that you have here. And then you move right into the nine of pentacles energy because you were, um, your, your skilled work is being rewarded. You've been putting in the dedicated effort. And now this is a well-deserved reward that you are getting. You deserve to take a break. You deserve to take a vacation. So do it. Okay. Scorpio, I am going to pull one more card for you. This is going to be, if you have a yes or no question, please hold that in your thoughts at this time. If I pull a positive card, it is a yes. A negative card will indicate a no. And then if it's like, huh, I don't know, I'll let you know that. And then I'll encourage you to bring your question to our next reading. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen. So to me, the intuition listen card is yes for you. And I say that because you have that coming right in here with the moon. And the listen card is the high priestess energy. That is if I'm not mistaking, the high priestess is cancer energy. And still, it's in your water sign element. So it can represent all of that water sign element, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So I'm going to read that one to you. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have uh, success and growth. So this is definitely backing the yes that I just gave you for your the answer to your question, which is beautiful. Success and growth. So I am going to read to you what the high priestess energy represents here with this card that says listen and this and i love when this happened you know I, I was telling you right in your work section to make sure that you listen and follow your intuition and then that is what found that's what came out okay it says see here since quiet intuition and knowing take a moment to quiet your mental chatter and listen in relationships it's important to pay attention to know what the other person is really saying too often in conversations you're already planning what you're going to say while the other person is still talking you make assumptions about where the conversation is going and plan your part of the conversation accordingly even working the conversation to a desired outcome when this happens you don't truly hear what the other the person is saying and doing so you weren't present for that person and I said that make sure that you are being present I said that here with this ten of fire listening starts with becoming quiet centered and totally present and I'll be honest when I shuffled this deck at the beginning before I started I put the deck down and the card that was there was the Virgo um what is he the hermit and this deck it's called seek so I know it, it's literally I have to show it to you because this card is speaking about listening and meditation and this is the card that I saw before for I started your spread. Where is the hermit? No, here it is. So this Virgo energy was sitting up right at the bottom of the deck before I started reading for you guys. And so I knew that I needed to tell you before the end of the reading to meditate and spirit always guides me back to where I need to be. And I love that. Thank you, spirit. Use your ears to hear not only the words spoken, but also the tone used to express them. Use your intuition to get a sense of what the person is really saying and feeling. Intuition often helps you hear what is not said as well as what is said. This is crucial to understanding the person or situation. Understanding is essential to improving relationship or situation. 
Remember once again to center yourself and use all of your senses to understand what is actually being communicated. Listening is a gift. <clears throat> Give this gift to your partner, parents, children, friends, co-workers, pets, and anyone you meet. Most important, give this gift to yourself. Tune into your mind, body, and soul. Our, mm, I said, when I said this is you and a person and the Holy Spirit or the Spirit uniting, this is also mind, body, and soul. And you are taking your mind, body, and soul and moving into your abundance with that. Most important, give this gift to yourself. Tune into your mind, body, and soul. Are you listening? And what do you hear? I honor myself for being present and truly listening to the messages I hear. That is beautiful. I'm going to pull one more card for you. I usually do this at the beginning and I almost forgot. But I'm going to pull one more card for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this message resonated. Spirit, let's give... Scorpio, their power of love message for the month of <laughs> October 2019. You have a lot of power of love. I don't think the cards that fall on the floor then. There was too many anyway. Thank you, spirit. I'm going to take these. Past and virtue. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. And I said that about this love situation. You know, whatever people have done to you in the past, make sure you don't carry that into your next relation because the next person doesn't deserve it. And you're virtuous. You are a woman of virtue. You are a man of virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. So you are very good at motivating people. You are very good at speaking to people <clears throat> you know that you are virtuous you have the ability to acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow so by being who you are and going in and listening to your own intuition you will continue to inspire people who then you can teach those people who you are inspiring to be um, people who are actively helpful in your business as well so this is you your virtuous you have the ability to turn anything into everything. Okay, Scorpio, I hope this message resonated with you. And at the very bottom of the deck, you have present here. I was going to close it out, but I flipped that over. And I said that. Make sure that you are present. Make sure that you are not in the past. Make sure that you are not dwelling in the past and that you're not seeing too far ahead to the future. Make sure that you are present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. Okay? If this message resonated with you, again, please reach out and let me know. Follow me. Give me a review on um, Facebook. You can give me a review on here. Comment. You know, I'm very open to the comments. I'm going to read them all. Thank you. Thank you. You can reach out to me on my Instagram at Trap House Tarot for a personal reading. Thank you, and I love you.